one, two, or three. Looking to get started with home cooking, I suggest that you start with relatively simple recipes that make use of familiar and easily available ingredients, yet allow you to be creative and experimental in the kitchen so that you can explore different flavors to suit your and your family's tastes and preferences. Tuna pesto pasta is one of those easy dishes that I would suggest you try making. It's not intimidating and in fact I consider it as one of my emergency dishes because I can whip up this dish in a short period of time. It doesn't require a lot of preparation and the ingredients are pretty basic and easily available in supermarkets. Plus, it is guaranteed to be nutritious and healthy and will be enjoyed by the entire family. Tuna, pa tuna, pesto, pa tuna pasta pesto, tuna pesto pasta. For my pasta, I'm using brown rice quinoa fusilli because it's gluten free. Cook the pasta according to package directions. Give it a little stir to avoid having your pasta stick to the bottom of your pot. While our pasta is cooking, let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. We have onions, fresh tomatoes, red bell peppers, sun-dried tomatoes, and olives. I'm using three cans of chunk light tuna. You may use your favorite brand, a can of stewed tomatoes, Italian flavor, and our homemade pesto. When your pasta is done, rinse it under cold running water in a colander to wash off excess starch. When the skillet is hot enough, we are going to saute the onions. We're going to let the onions cook for about a minute until they're a little bit translucent but not really brown. And then we're going to add our red bell peppers and our tomatoes. Now we're going to add the canned tomatoes. While this is simmering, I actually like to add other spices that I feel like adding just to enhance the flavors. Usually for dishes like this, I add dried basil and also my favorite Italian seasoning and also oregano. Oregano smells so good. Then we're going to add the tuna that I have drained. Let's let this simmer for about a minute and then let's add our homemade pesto. I'd like to add my olives before I add my pasta and my sun-dried tomatoes. Now we're ready to add our pasta. This is gluten-free so they tend to stick together, so we have to loosen them. It helps to have a really big skillet for this. Make sure that you've turned off your stove already while you're tossing the pasta with the sauce if you don't want to overcook your pasta. I'm adding a bit of red chili pepper. just showing you what we're going to use when we serve or when we plate our pasta later. We have a bunch of fresh parsley leaves and this these are the basil leaves that we gathered a while ago from the plant by the window. Salt and pepper and freshly grated parmesan cheese. It's after lunch and everyone has eaten so this is what's left of that 
one huge skillet of pasta. I'm going to show you how to garnish tuna pesto pasta. I usually observe waiters or waitresses do this in restaurants when we dine in. The key word is fresh, I believe. Fresh parsley, fresh basil, and freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And we have salt and pepper standing by just in case. But according to my dish consumers, this is already pretty much seasoned perfectly. All right, so first we put whole leaves of basil. And then we put parsley. Grate some cheese on top of the pasta. I still would like to add a dash of pepper on my dish. This is your tuna pesto pasta, all garnished and ready to be served and enjoyed. Mm -hmm.